أعزائي المشاهدين أسعد الله مساءكم بكل الخير ومرة أخرى نرحب بكم في حلقة جديدة من برنامجكم الأسبوعي كوميونيتي إيشوز أعزائي المشاهدين العالم النفسي إيريكسون سيدوان دي قال يومنا لا أرى ولم أسمع عن عمل سيء ولا إنساني أكثر من إذا روح طفل فما رأيكم أعزائي المشاهدين إذا كان هناك وباء أو مرض خطير لا يأذي فقط روح الأطفال وإنما يأذي حلمهم بالحياة كريمة وسعيدة أن يلعبوا قبقية الأطفال وأيضا يؤذي صحتهم وبالتالي يؤذي كل ما يحيط بحولهم من بيئة صحية أو اجتماعية أو نفسية أو مدرسية نحن نتحدث بكل وضوح عن حالات السرطان التي يعاني بها أطفال العالم بشكل عام ولكن ما يهمنا في هذا في هذا اليوم الحوار هو مع من يقومون او العاملين او العاملات وبتطوع لمواجهه هذه القضيه محاوله ايجاد العلاج حتى لا يؤذى ليس فقط روح الطفل وانما حياته بشكل عام. نتحدث عن حالات السرطان وحالات اخرى صحيه تختص بالاطفال في فلسطين. تحديدا حالات السرطان لان هناك مهمه لضيفتنا في هذه الحلقه. حسب إحصائيات وزارة الصحة الفلسطينية فإنه يوجد هناك في كل عام 230 حالة كانسر جديدة 230 نيو كانسر كيسز with children 100 منهم 100 in Gaza and 130 in the West Bank على ما يبدو لأسباب معروفة وغير معروفة ربما تقتضي الدراسة فهناك زيادة في حالات السرطان لدى الأطفال الفلسطينيين وأيضا في مناطق أخرى في العالم العربي لنشاهد هذا الفيديو وبعد هذا الفيديو وبعد هذه المشاهدة سيكون لنا حوار مع ضيفتنا في هذا الأسبوع للحديث عن هذه القضية اسمي عمر محمد إبراهيم المصطفى سكان خان يونس بن السيلة أنا بعاني من مشكلة عندي أربع أربع أولاد مرضى سرطان وتوفت لي بنت مرضى خامسة أسنان عمر محمد أبو مطر عمري ثمان سنين عندي سرطان بالرأس هذا عمر محمد أبو مصطفى عمري 16 عندي مرضى سرطان بالرأس عبد الله عمره تتس ثلاث سنين مع مرض السرطان عاد أم محمد الفصا عشر سنين بعد سرطان في الرأس بعد أن هو مرض جي بي أم ورم خبيص الدماغ والبنت اللي توفت بجاها في اجاها الورم يعني بالعمود الفقري نوع ثاني عنهم هذيك يعني ما استحملتش يعني كل فتره علاجها اربع شهور و... وتوفت وهذول هي يعني علينا بنتابع فيهم تقريبا صار لي خمس سنوات وانا بتابع فيهم يعني بدهم يعني بدهم بعد هيك حي هو فحص الجين اللي عملوه ان بدهم يعني بدهم متابعه باستمرار يعني قالوا لنا انه حيجيهم المرض في الامعاء والمعده والقولون وانا انا شخصيا انا وزوجتي حاملين نفس المرض يعني وبعمل فحوصات زي زي الاولاد و... الحمد لله رب العالمين في الاسبوع بدهم يعني علبة الدواء هو الاثنين اللي بياخذوها الاولاد هذا نوع واحد من العلاج 150 شيكل بشتري العلبه. يعني نادر مره واحده لقيته في المستشفى. والباقي هذا طبعا كله شرايه. يعني بهذا العلاج حياخذوه يعني باستمرار على مدى الحياه على مدى الحياه. اتمنى من الله انه يصير يعني من مستشفياتها في غزه يعني الواحد بيرتاح نفسيا اقل حاجه. ساعدونا نحارب مرض السرطان.
اعزائي المشاهدين كما شاهدنا في هذا الفيديو يعني هناك مأساة عائلة أربعة من الأطفال يعني شيء يد يعني يدمي له القلب أو مصابين في السرطان وأحد أفراد العائلة أحد الأطفال توفى آه واضح أن هناك معضلة وهناك مشكلة إتس ريلي سيريس بروبلم ذات يو نو تشيلدرن آر فيسينغ بت موست امبورتنتلي وات آر وي جوينغ تو دو أباوت ذات Who are the organizations that they are out there trying to help children? Um, we know there are many organizations, and we really want to thank them for all what they are doing to help our children. جزيل من الشكر لجميع المؤسسات القائمة على مساعدة الأطفال. لكن هناك أحد المؤسسات التي لها تاريخ عريق وإن لم تخن الذاكرة. If my memory helps me, هذه الأورجانيزيشن مؤسسة تأسست يمكن في 1990 أو 1991. قد لا يكون مهم التاريخ بقدر ما هو مهم العمل الذي آه تقوم به هذه المؤسسة ستعطينا ضيفتنا لهذه الحلقة آه التاريخ الدقيق لكن هذه المؤسسة هي Palestine Children Relief Fund اللي هي PCRF هذه المؤسسة التي لها دور عريق ودور لنكون رياضي في مساعدة الأطفال في فلسطين للحديث عن بعض حالات الموجودة في فلسطين في غزة أو في الضفة الحديث عن معاناة بعض الأطفال هناك في في قضية السرطان، أيضا الحديث عن الخدمات ليس فقط في مجال السرطان وإنما أيضا في مساعدة الأطفال في قضايا عاقة أخرى. يسرنا أن تكون ضيفتي في هذه الحلقة السيدة ياسمين حامد هي مديرة مكتب ديترويت للحديث عن هذا الموضوع. أختي ياسمين أهلا وسهلا فيك. أهلا وسهلا فيك. الله يخليك. أختي ياسمين فيك تعطينا uh, يعني an idea when this PCRF was founded and يعني وين تتأسست ليش تأسست؟ sure. um, PCRF founded by a uh, journalist his name is Steve Sosby um, he was traveling as a freelance writer and he seen um, Dindi Fada and he took um, a plight to helping in a Saad al Palestine um, Oh, he brought two children, um, mm -hmm. the first two children, um, and um, they were in Cleveland, Ohio in 1991. Mm -hmm. Actually, they stayed with my family. That was over 20 years ago. And that's how we all became a part. And ever since then, the, the organization has gotten bigger and bigger, and everybody wants to help. يعني هو التركيز على الأطفال يعني the focus is on children. We focus on children. We're a non-political, non-religious organization. Doesn't matter what religion, what race. Bin hab bin saad a walad fi hala that needs help. But and it seems like Steve is the founder, so he's not from the Arab American community, right? No, actually he's an American from Kent, Ohio. But he ended up uh, marrying a uh, Palestinian um, who, um, who he also has two daughters with. And actually, she passed away from leukemia uh. a few years ago, um, and that's what warranted um, the need. And so he opened up the first cancer center in um, Bejada in 2013 and under her name, Al Huda Masri Pediatric Oncology okay. Center. So we will talk to, uh, more about the uh, uh, Bejada Cancer Center. But uh, I want to ask you a question. You know, when you become involved in this, and uh, I, I know that you are volunteering. You know, you are doing this all this just on voluntary basis. So, when did you start this, and why? What makes you really? And you are very passionate. I see you, yeah, Yasmin. Yeah. Okay, so. Like I said, um, the first time um, we had two children living with my family as a child, mm -hmm. and it stuck with me. And um, after I got married and had children, and my oldest is special needs, so I always thought if the, يعني حدا قالي you know فيك تبعتي ابنك على دولة بعيدة وحدا بيساعد him, you know I would hope إن في عيلة like myself or a mother that would take care of them. So any time that they asked me, I would take in a child and host them, and we started our chapter here almost four years ago in Detroit. So two children came here. Can you tell us about you know more than more than two children? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Um, he, uh, his mom died of cancer when he was four, and he got bone cancer when he was six. Um, because of the inadequate care in Gaza, of course, um, they cut off majority of his leg. He had about a two-inch stump. Fa, um, he stayed six years, you know, without any prosthetic leg. Fa PCRF batu liya al Detroit u ad ma elti about arba arba tashar. U a doctor sponsored him and we got him a prosthetic leg mm -hmm. and um, physical therapy and um, he became my fifth child. Um, we still talk to him, we spe still speak to his family. Um, it's an amazing feeling in a wahadi sa'ad hada. Lana, lo el walad dal bidun masa'ada, he would have no future. Um, with the help of PCRF, he has a future now. He will be able to um, have a job, uh, finish school. Um, in fact, um, we, we, PCRF still gives him a tutor um, to help with his homework and to stay on top of his studies because education is very important to us. Sure. يعني هو الولد هذا أجاك عاد عندكم هنا أربع شهور عادي يعني زي واحد منكم. زي واحد من أولادي. Okay. So فيك تحكي لنا مثلاً كيف يعني كنت تأخذين تعمل عدد دكاترة جيب تعمل كل هذا ال كل شيء مطلوب له يعني. Yeah. Well, we have a team of volunteers here in Michigan, and a lot of them would pick him up, take him to his appointments. A lot of them would take him, يعني can he have Burger King كتير. So like they take him, you know, to go bowling, and actually he bowled on one leg. Wow. Um, so they'd come over, the volunteers, college students, moms. <laughs> um, they would take him for weekends. Um, so it was a community effort, really. Um, it wasn't just my family, but he did stay with me. Um, but the community is the one who who welcomed him and um, took him took it upon. It was a, really a community child. So, uh, do you see any difference between uh, the minute he came, arrived, and when he left? Did you see any difference? Oh, yeah. Fee farik? Yeah, la hatta nafsitu ahsan. Like, if you could talk, you like to say any share anything? Um, when he, awal ma aja, um, awal leila, can yibki la ahlo. Tala isma. Ana ma bdi khalik andi. Ana ra ha saadak, wa ana ra habak, wa wa ra ha naalja. Yani, huwa yibki shtak la ahlo. Yeah, shtak. I mean, yani. You're, you're talking about children who live in a one-bedroom home sure. that sleep with 13 people. Um, they're not used to a ghurfa lahala, a queen bed lahala, mish mitaudin ala ha shagla. Even al akil, it was different. Yani, can yet lub minni amelo liver. You know, he was not even mitaud on certain foods. Um, so it was a, it's a huge change for these children. It's a huge culture shock. Sure. Um, but they do well, you know. Just like I, my children have rules, they have rules. And that's a big thing is um, we need host families all over. Um, because when we bring children, we need a family that's willing to take them in and to house them and to take care of them and take them to appointments. Type, uh, you said this, there is a need for host families. Uh, you know, what do you expect from the host family? I mean, when I want to bring someone to the child, I want to bring someone to the child to the child. What do you expect from me? Um, we expect that you treat the child, of course, kindly and with love um, to get him to his appointments. Um, and of course, the chapter would help you if you couldn't do some appointments. Um, feed them and just love them while they're there. Sure. Okay. The, uh, this is how, how old was he when he came here? 13. And he, uh, he's now like 18 years old? No, no, he's uh, about 15. Fifteen. Yeah. Type, uh, who like the expense, like masarif al mastashfa, min dafaa? Um, all services are donated. So when he came, um, the doctor that sponsored him, he facilitated for the um place that made his prosthetic leg as a um a donation. Okay. Type, um, this is it. Just two children. Will you still like uh well, we, receiving some? We we um we had another child who was burned, uh, severely burned. Um, he stayed in Ann Arbor. He had about four or five surgeries at U of M Hospital um, that were all done for free. They also gave him a prosthetic arm um, and a prosthetic ear. And um, we are, we had, um, I had another 
girl who stayed with us, but before we actually had a whole chapter here, she was an above the knee amputee as well, and she also got a prosthetic and physical therapy here as well. This is just Detroit now, not the whole organization. This is just what we've done here. يعني انتم معنا اكثر من مر اكثر من ولاي اكثر من ولاي واكثر من يعني مور ذان يو ار نوت اونلي ان ديترويت يو ار ان اذر ستيتس اند اذر بارتس اوف ذا وورلد رايت وي هاف اوفر 30 تشابترز اراوند ذا وورلد اوكي ان موست ار فولنتيرز رايت متطوعين وي ار فولنتيرز اوكي طب ليتس توك اباوت ذا ميشن ان ان فلسطين يو نو يو نو وات PCRF, what are you doing in Palestine, in Gaza or West Bank? Sure, I'm well, about. we don't only just do um, Palestine. I just want to make sure you know oh, that okay, we, we reach out to all the al Arabiya, mm -hmm. wherever we can get our hand mm -hmm. in and, and help children there, we, we will go. Uh, we've had a Syrian child. Mm -hmm. um, I think they were in Chicago. We have um, Iraqi children. We have, it, it doesn't, it started off based with the Palestinians mm -hmm. because of the Intifada, uh -huh. but the need has grown so much as you know, and um, it and it became um, necessary to branch out. We have um, offices in Gaza, we have offices in Lebanon, we have offices in Ramallah, and the main office is in Kent, Ohio. But the chapters are all over, and we have doctors who travel from all over the world to serve as missions, as volunteers to different parks, whether the West Bank or Gaza, or in um, refugee camps. So, يعني من مش الاسم بس فلسطين. The name is but but يعني بتخدموا بتسألوا طلاب الشاب أطفال من كل العالم. You only serve children. يعني بس أطفال. Yes. Okay. طب بالنسبة لل خلينا نحكي عن chapter تبع Michigan هون Detroit chapter. Okay. You are only in Detroit, right? Mm-hmm. Do you have an office? My house. <laughs> oh, I know that, but just, uh, you know, I want, you know, the audience, you know, yes. that, to see that, okay. So, Tab, how, you know, how, can we, how can people get hold of you? How can they get hold of you? If someone is listening to me and says, I want to be a host family, I want to be a host family, I want to be a host How they can reach you? Um, I would go on to the PCRF um, website. Uh -huh and go in to contact us, mm -hmm. and um, they will send you with whatever region you're in in the world, mm -hmm. they will put you in contact with the right chapter. Mm -hmm. um, also, there is a link for host families, mm -hmm. where if you're interested in hosting a child, you would give your information, and um, they would get back to you if there is a child in need in that area that they could send to. Do you need really looking for host families? Of course, I mean, in the beginning I was selfish because I was keeping all the children for myself. And um, this last time we had a family in Ann Arbor because he was being served in Ann Arbor. Um, but it depends on where the child is getting the care, and that will dictate to us where we need a host family. يعني هو زي ما ظهر أسفل الشاشة موجودة رقم تلفونك والويبسايت إذا حدا بحب من المساع من المشاهدين يكون يعني ضيف يستضيف أحد الأطفال يعني بقدر يتصل في ال في رقم التلفون أو في الويبسايت. ياسمين أنا بعرف إنه مش بس ميديكال طبعاً هلا بنحكي عن جزء رح نحكي أكثر تفاصيل بس خلينا نحكي كمان عن خدمات أخرى أنا other services besides like hosting children and medical help is there any food donations or any medical supplies right for instance um, during the the, um, the you can't really call it a war but during what happened in Gaza um, we sent over um, over $500,000 in medical supplies um, into Gaza. Um, we purchased mattresses, blankets, food parcels, uh, hygiene kits, and we passed them out on the floor, I mean on Gaza ground, because we do have an office in Gaza, which was hit during the time, but um, the social workers still went out on their own accord um, to help the families. So, uh, do people uh, donate money? يعني بتبرع لكم بفلوس هون ولا بعطوك ال like ال like uh, whatever clothes or food or how, how things how things work? Well, what we do is um, the best thing is to donate it, the money, money that way it could be bought <coughs> mm -hmm. in um, in the West Bank. It also helps the economy for mm -hmm. the Arab. Um, so, the, you can go to PCRF.net and donate to whatever project they have. There's different projects you could choose from. There's a Syrian project. There's a Gaza project. Um, we also do a wheelchair project, um, shoes for children, mm -hmm. um, 
Also, we service the um, special needs children. There's a uh, summer camp mm -hmm. that is um, done that PCRF um, brings all the, the kids that have disabilities. Um, uh, one big thing also that I see a lot of people interested in is the uh, child sponsorship program where um, especially after what happened in Gaza, a lot of kids were left orphaned. Mm -hmm. So they are sponsoring orphan children. Or um, for instance, um, you can also sponsor a child, which was a monthly stipend that you give every month okay. um, for children who have special needs. Like some children, they don't need a hospital, but they need diapers, they need medicine, they need milk. So your full amount of money goes towards that child that you give every month. You are a 501c3 organization. Yes, we're a tax ID. So, yani, uh, just to repeat what Yasmin said in Arabic, it's like, uh, yani, if you want to come on, 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 if you want to but also uh, for you know, helping any children, like uh, it's, it's, it's a charity uh, organization, you can help children uh, with uh, any needs. You know, doesn't not only children with like a victim of cancer or war, like maybe a victim who like got hit in a car accident, right? You'll help. Correct. Okay. Um, talking about, let's talk about the uh, um, the cancer cases uh, from your like network, from your experience. So do you, do you see like um, more cancer cases, yani fi halat fi saratan ktiri bil atfal lately, yani? Yes, of course, after, you know, uh, there's a lot of environmental things, I think, that are causing cancer. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not a doctor to know, yeah. but um, the main problem is, is cancer is prevalent and it's happening and these children can't get out to get serviced. Okay. Um, and if they, if they are able, you know, it costs a lot of money for these things. So that they, if we or we open up um, the Beit Jala Cancer Center that's already open, mm -hmm. um, it's all for free. It's it's done. For, they have you know treatments for free. Okay. Well, بما أننا سبتحديت عن ال center تبع Beit Jala, إحنا we have a video that will show our audience. Uh, and actually, we need more details or information from you. راح يكون في عنا حديث بخصوص هذا المركز مركز سرطان الأطفال في Beit Jala. وأيضا المركز المنوي افتتاحه في غزة للأطفال ستكون يعني حديث أكثر ولكن بعد الفاصل بكم معنا أعزائي المشاهدين مرة أخرى ألف تحية لكم كما يقال عدنا والعود أحمد بالحديث مع السيدة ياسمين حامد حول خدمات PCRF uh, not only in Palestine. The name is Palestine uh, Children Relief Fund, but actually this offers like uh, help and serve children all over the world, regardless to uh, the country. We have another country, so if we have Atfal from Iraq, Atfal from Syria, but the service that we have with Khistif, and from here, it is a pleasure to welcome you, Khistif. You know, really to thank you for all what you, you and your team actually are doing really to help children all over the world. Uh, may God bless you, that's all what we can say. We can give you more than this, uh, buddy, sorry. <laughs> but thank you so much, Steve. Shukran ilak, shukran ilak, kullu matatawwain, li bukad muhad al-khadmi, li yani, zayil ukht Yasmin, huwa maktabha fi baytha, matatawwa. She's very passionate, and she is really, her heart is in this charity work. Now, uh, زي ما شفنا في الشريط الأول أو الفيديو الأول إن هناك حالات من الكانسر حالات من السرطان يعني زي ما حكينا 230 حالة كل يوم لكن المأساة تكون عندما لا توجد هناك الخدمات الكافية ولا توجد هناك المراكز الكافية المركز الوحيد اللي هو الأكونج البيدياتريك أكونج سنتر اللي هو مختص في السرطان أو في علم الأورام هو في بيت جالا فقط والذي قام بتأسيسه بالمناسبة هو فلسطين Children's Relief Fund أختي ياسمين فيك تحكينا عن هذا المركز يلا تتوك about this you know. منت وانت بدأ إذا في عندك معلومات عن التاريخ أو شو الخدمات what kind of services center provide sure like I said um, Steve's wife um, al um, Huda al-Masri passed away from cancer a few years ago <تصفيق> and um, after that um, it became the new project um, to help children 
um, that don't have the services or the money to um, get the kind of help that they need. Um, for in 2013, or um, Mustashfa, I should say, yeah. um, on a pediatric oncology, oncology center, yeah, and, and center in Bejala. Um, it's a beautiful um, center. Um, it's equipped with the best. There's rooms. They throw um, birthday parties for the children, little um, Eid parties, Christmas parties. Um, there's a healing garden with a, um, a playground. It really is a beautiful place for them to heal. Besides the treatment and, and assessment, I believe. Right. And this is the only oncology, pediatric, uh, whatever. Free, uh, yes. Free in, 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 in Palestine, I believe. I'm not sure if in Palestine, but I know it's only free one. Okay, for okay, and it's a free one. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, who pay for this service? I mean, donations. It's done by donations by you know people like me and you. Um, it's uh, it it's run on um, doctors who um, give their services. Plenty of doctors from all over the world. They'll go there. They'll train the doctors that are there on the newest procedures, on medicines, on. Um, Anything new coming and going in the medical field, they go there and they get trained, um, and they train the employees okay. there. So they not only support the children, they support the doctors, and they support the families that are in need. Yes. Okay. Um, when we show the video in the beginning, we go referring, we keep referring to this. Like it seems there are no any oncology centers that help pediatric or children in Gaza. Yes. And, that, and that's why Mishan you have your, um, uh, let me say like ambitious and a huge project. Mm -hmm. You are hoping to raise $10 million to build this new oncology center in, uh, um, in Gaza. You want to talk about this? Uh? Yes. Um, like they say that it's a prison, an air prison in Gaza. So the kids there that have these, have this horrible disease, have no um, re resources, no adequate medical care for cancer. And a lot of them are going untreated and inevitably a lot are dying. Um, so in order to help service the, the children there, um, our goal is to, like you said, raise $10 million to create a state-of-the-art facility to treat these children. Um, they're not allowed out for their medications, they're not allowed out for chemotherapy or a bone marrow transplant is over eighty thousand dollars you know so where are they going to get this help so that's where the palestine children relief fund is aiming it's a goal now to open up a center there actually uh, you know the sad news you know i was like reading and the, the prevalence is 73.1 out of like eighteen uh, thousand a hundred thousand uh, uh, people there, they have uh, diagnosed with cancer. I mean, this is something really devastating. And uh, also, I noticed that people, they have to go to Israel to get the treatment. Yes. So, um, I mean, what do you think, like, um, how things are going in terms of, like, trying to raise the money? Well, like I said, we're, we're chapters all over the world, mm -hmm. and um, each chapter, you know, does what they can. Um, we have in Detroit, we have a um, big fundraiser every, every Ramadan. Um, we just finished our fourth. And um, what anybody could give, it's all, it's all worthwhile, whatever anyone could give. If you can give hundreds, if you could give thousands, it's, it's going to a good cause. And again, يعني اللي بدو يتبرع لهذا المركز طبعا he go to your website, right. which is your, يعني راح تشوفوا under الشاشة للمشاهدين الأعزاء. Uh, برأيك أنت، do you think the center will really uh, solve part of the problem in Gaza? يعني حسب you know what you are hoping. Of course, um, you're talking from going to no medical care or very inadequate medical care for these children with cancer to a state of the art facility, and um, they, it will give them hope. It will give them a chance to fight it to survive. So the services, yani the khidmat will include both treatment and assessment according right. to the state of the art. Uh, and I know like uh, it may be even make it easier for and actually um, encourage more uh, people to donate. I think you have like a four stars status. Right. Do you um, want to talk about this? Yeah, uh, we are a four star charity uh -huh. um, with Charity Navigator, which is the highest um, stars a charity can receive. 
Um, we're known all over the world. We are actually even endorsed by um, former President Jimmy Carter, um, and he endorses us every year. Um, we're, PCRF has, it's not an organization that just sends funds in. We have an office in Gaza. We are on the ground. We have, you know, uh, even during times that, you know, they didn't want our people on the ground, the people still went out to help the kids, to help the families. Um, you're talking just like me. They're volunteers that, some are volunteers, you know, that want to help to make a difference in these children's lives. The, um, so you, on, you don't only focus on cancer clients, right? No. It's, it ranges from plastic surgery to um, urology to, you know, um, they send um, um, orthopedic surgeons. Um, we also send um, dental uh, surgeons over there. I mean, whatever doctor that is in need, mm -hmm. um, the doctors head over there. And if there's a child that um, cannot be serviced adequately with what we have, that's when we send them out to either the United States, mm -hmm. to Jordan, to Dubai, to get other services rendered. Okay, do you have any children now in the United States? Do you have any children now in the United States? You know what, I don't know right now who, okay. who's here. Mm -hmm. okay. Tip, uh, what is, if you, if you have a message to the community, like you, as, as, as you mentioned, you don't have only to, uh, you, you don't donate, uh, we don't take like clothes or we don't take food, you have to donate money. And That's as much as you can, okay, yeah. you know, there is no limit. You can donate $10, okay, you can donate like $100,000. So your website, you can go to the website and actually you donate? Right, you can go, like I said, and you can click on whatever project mm -hmm. you want. If you want to donate to the cancer center, you can donate. There's different projects we're always working on. And um, there's a Syrian project. There is a, um, like I said, the um, cancer center in Gaza. Um, there's, if you want to do something that's more simple, mm -hmm. there's the sponsorship programs. There's always something. And, and something, you know, everyone should understand is, and I always say this in um, Detroit for our volunteers, which, you know, I have a, an amazing um, board and volunteers here in Detroit, is either you can help with your time, mm -hmm. with your money. Um, you know, even when we had the child here during surgeries, um, we had two hour slots where we would hope someone would come and sit with that child. Because you have to remember, they don't speak the language you know, they're scared, they're hurting, you know, sign up to go sit in the hospital with one of these children. Um, so there's always something for someone to do. Actually, يعني أعزائي المشاهدين حتى يعني نعطي صورة أفضل أو يعني نخليكم تعيشوا ذا إنفايرمنت تعيشوا الوضع اللي بيعيشوا الأطفال اللي في مركز بيت جارة وبداية الوقت يعني سنترككم مع هذا الشريط القصير أيضا لتروا حجم المساعدة التي يتركوها الأطفال في في مستشفى الأطفال المختص في السرطان في مدينة بيت جالب فلسطين وأيضا في نهايتها هي مناشدة من أحد الأطفال لمساعدتهم في مركز بناء المركز الحديث في غزة في هذا الشريط يعبر يعني تلز أول ذا ستوري فيعني خليكم معنا في هذا الشريط القصير متخذا من مستشفى بيت جالا الحكومي مقرا له يفتتح القسم أبوابه على مصراعيه بشكل دائم لاستقبال وتقديم الرعاية الطبية اللازمة والمجانية للأطفال الذين تتراوح أعمارهم ما بين الأشهر والأربعة عشر عام تم تشييد القسم بفضل كرم وسخاء داعمي الجمعية حيث يعتبر هذا القسم بالإضافة لحديقة الشفاء التابعة له مكانا يعطي الأطفال الحيز اللازم للعب والاحتفال بأعياد الميلاد والحلم والأمل والتعلم والتأقلم والنمو النمو ليصبح أكثر قوة لمحاربة سرطان الدم والكلية والدماغ والغدد اللمفاوية وذلك ليحيوا حياة سعيدة وصحية
Sketchfab, fans à la pente احنا اخت ياسمين يعني نخلي الاشرطه تتحدث والعالم يعني يحكم على هذه الخدمه الرائعه لكن في نهايه هذا الحديث انا اترك لك اذا انت بتحبي تتحدثي عن اي شيء يعني انا ما سالتك اياه او اي اي مسج او اذا عندك اي رساله او في هاف اني مسج فور ذا كوميونتي ايذر لايك دونيتينج فور ذا سنتر اور اكشولي بينج ا هوست If you like to see anything, uh, do you like something? I kind of just said it. Um, I just wanted to tell people that they can help in any way, whether it's time, money. Um, don't think that, that there's a that you, there's no, you know that there's a limit. There's no limit. There's no boundaries in helping. So anybody can volunteer. Anybody can volunteer. Anybody could come and help. It's okay. Um, anything else you like to say? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, actually, uh, uh, we would like really to conclude by really saying that I think the world will be even better if you have more organization, organization like like uh, uh, PCRF to help our children all over the world. And actually, our world will be even much better and, um, and blessed when we have people like you. What does mean? So, because uh, uh, I did not know because I see you like working like uh, like. Um, All, of, all over the place, you know, and you just lately, you know, you, you had your fundraising dinner and I see you're working really hard and I did not know that you are volunteer. And that's really tells all the story because we need really to throw our heart and I believe the rest of our body and will follow when we have really a mission to help the children all over the world, not only the Palestinian children. So uh, we uh, ask, you know, may Allah to bless you all. Okay? And we really, this office needs your donation, need your help. It doesn't have to be money. If you don't have money, maybe you'll be a host organization. So uh, with that, we are done. And uh, I really want to thank you. Thank you. And actually, I want to thank your founder, uh, Mr. Steve, you know, for, for a great job uh, to help. And whatever the God is, this is not a rich organization. This is, not, this is, this is just a, a, you, to help children all over the world. So um, please be a part of this effort. And uh, with that, we are done. And we have that, I mean, so do you Allah, I'm an alertaki, become for the halakal mukbara, what's more, Allah.